I think I'm most excited about tonight's show. And I keep hearing such great things about this church. I mean, I grew up in church. I went to church like five days a week for 14 years. So it's definitely a, it hits home, you know? Um, I'm sure I'll, I always get emotional when I play, so I'm sure I'll be. to me seems like a really kind of quite an involved like uh, dense and like capture of, of, of a moment is it important to you to try and recreate kind of every last like nuance or something of the record or is it you know more important to have a kind of a freer kind of vibe you know I think you know I I don't really like it when I when I love a record and I go to see the show and it's exactly like the record you know you want to see something different or else you would just stay at home and listen to the record, you know? Yeah. So I like that things get to change and evolve. I haven't even realized until after releasing the record and doing interviews how many songs are about dreams. <laughs> like, I had no idea. There's a girl sleeping on the cover. Like, I was like, oh yeah, I didn't notice that. My first memory was actually a dream. It was my first dream. It was like, not actually the dream, but waking up from the dream and being aware of it. I don't actually remember the dream. I just remember my family was getting ready to go to the wave pool and I'd flipped a laundry basket over and taken a nap <laughs> underneath it and woke up and was like, what the hell was that? But that's an experience you never, you'll never get again, that first, the first like kind of dream yeah. you, you wake up from. Mm. It must be terrifying yeah. to a child. That was really disorienting. <laughs> but there's no, well, hopefully there. So know. maybe that's why, I don't know. <laughs> 